good morning everyone uh, it's good to see you again I didn't see you last week so it's nice to be giving my notices today I'm afraid I'm feeling a bit sad today I'm sure many of you have heard the sad news about our organist at Balbra John Wybrow he sadly died on Friday he had been poorly for quite some time um, and we weren't sure quite when he was going to go. Um, actually last week he was feeling quite chipper. A fair, a fair few people had spoken to him and said that he was he was in quite a good mood last week. Um, and then on Friday he just took a turn for the worse. Um, and so his family rang me and I was able to go into the care home where he was living and say some prayers with him. I sang Guide Me O Thy Great Redeemer to him. Um, and we said Psalm 121 together. The words just came straight out. He knew them all by heart. So we had a really nice moment praying together at the end and then he died peacefully in the afternoon with his family around him. So he had a good end and um, I'm just relieved that it wasn't a long drawn out thing for him or the family. Um, so obviously we'll be making some arrangements for a funeral um, but it's likely to be small numbers because we still have some restrictions. So um, something I'm planning to do is next year of course we need to have a, a really big memorial for John uh, with lots of music and a real celebration of everything that he did for our church. And I've decided that what I would like to do is institute an annual music concert in John's memory as a way of keeping his memory alive, really, uh, remembering the 55 years that he spent um, helping us with our music at Balbra. So he will be sorely missed. So feeling a li little bit sad today, um, but also grateful for a life well lived. Um, so we remember John, especially today. Um, this week I am on holiday, um, sort of after this morning. Um, so Paul and I are gonna get away for a couple of days. We're going to visit my family as well. Um, so we're, I'm gonna be away this week. I will be contactable by my mobile phone. So if any emergency should happen, um, I'm not leaving the country, so you can get hold of me, but please just get in touch with me only if it's an emergency. Um, so what this means is, let me just go through um, what's going to happen over the next couple of weeks. Um, so next Sunday there will be a service online as usual um, at, at 10, well hopefully from 8 o'clock. I've had a bit of a problem with YouTube this morning so sorry if some of you have tried to watch the service and it's not been viewable. It should be viewable pretty soon, fingers crossed, um, we're watching the bar on YouTube. Um, so sorry about that. But yes, there will be a service next week um, on Sunday. And then thereafter, the plan is um, that we will be back in Bulba Church on Sunday the 26th of July at 10 o'clock. Um, we should be fine for numbers. Um, we think we have, with the social distancing, we have a capacity of about 50. So we shouldn't have to turn anybody away. Um, so um, please do come and, and join us for that service if you, if you feel safe to do so. Um, and then the following week, we will have our first Sunday back at Clown Church um, on Sunday the 2nd of August at 10 a.m. I'm just at the moment um, trying to work out whether people would value us live streaming the service so that you can watch it from home um, so you can see the service that we're doing in church. Um, I'm just thinking about that. If that's something you think you would value, um, it would be great if you could just let me know um, because what I wouldn't want to do is go to loads of effort to do it and then find that nobody's bothered. <laughs> but we will do it if, if it would be of value to people. Um, so please do investigate that and um, let me know what you think about that. Um, this week um, there will be a service on Thursday morning over the phone. Um, Reverend Adrian Murray Leslie is going to lead that. So there will be one for Clown and one for Barbara as usual. So the phone church will take place this week. Um, so just because I'm away doesn't mean that's not going to happen. Um, but there won't be the Tuesday night Eucharist on Facebook and there won't be the daily prayer podcast this week. But there's lots of back catalogue podcasts to listen to. So you can always listen to last week's ones um, or from earlier in the in the year. Uh, there's a whole load of them on there now. So um, if you want to pray, um, you could just have a look at what one of the ones that are on there um, and join us for prayer each day if you want to. So that's what's going to happen this week. So those dates are for your diary for the 26th of July and the 2nd 
of August. So hopefully that will work well. Um, I know I keep mentioning it, but we would have been having the flower festival for Balbra um, this week and next. Um, and of course we're not this time. So um, if you would like to make a donation um, to St. James's Church, that would be really, really valued. Um, so you can you can write a check um, and, and post it to me. Um, I can also make available the details for the bank account if you want to make a bank transfer. Um, I'll try and make that available as well so that you can easily make a donation. Um, the other alternative, if you haven't done it yet, is to set up a regular direct debit to church, which which really helps us to plan. And also it automatically claims gift aid for us as well. So if you ring this number that's on the screen um, and say that you'd like to set up a payment for St. James's Church or for St. John the Baptist Church in Clown, uh, that just really makes makes things a lot easier for us to plan ahead and also saves quite a big admin job in terms of counting out money from envelopes and things like that. So please do, if you haven't yet, please do um, consider setting that up so that we can make sure that our church will still keep going um, during this tough time. Um, we are going to gather at 11 o'clock on Zoom today. Um, I'll just show you something I've, I've, I made last night. Um, I made this, do you like my mask? <laughs> So I wanted to thank, um, hopefully you can hear, hear me when, it, when I'm wearing it, um, I wanted to thank Joyce Brown actually, she recommended a chap called Peter Hipwell who lives in Clown um, to recondition my 1904 Singer sewing machine that belonged to my great great grandmother um, and I managed to make this last night so I'm very proud of myself and I bought the fabric, just a little, this is a little advertising break actually, um, I bought the fabric from Molly Felicity Designs which is run by Sarah Smith um, over at Old Bowls Over Yard. And I would really recommend if you're wanting to go out um, maybe for the first time in quite a while um, and you're wanting to sort of go shopping but not not feel too overwhelmed, I would really recommend going to Old Bowls Over Yard in Bowls Over because Sally, who used to run the um, Ashgate Coffee Shop, has her own cafe there now called The Coffee Cup. And there are some lovely tables and chairs outside um, with with umbrellas as well. So if the weather's not great, you can still sit under an umbrella. And you can now sit in the rest in the cafe, eat inside. Um, so I went there yesterday, and it was really nice. Um, so I had a lunch, and then I had the poodle around the the, um, the the shops, and that's where I got this fantastic fabric for making my masks. So uh, just a little advertising break. You can pay me later, Sarah. <laughs> okay. Um, so hopefully um, the service should be available to view now. Um, sorry for the delay on that. Um, I'll just double check. See if it's... Uh... Yes. Oh, phew. It's up. <laughs> I just checked on YouTube so you can watch the service. And oh, just to say, um, I'm feeling a lot better now. I had a bit of a cold in the week. Um, I woke up with a temperature and a cough, which obviously made us panic a little bit. So um, we were both tested for COVID and came back negative, which is a massive relief. And I'm feeling much better now. Um, I'm absolutely fine. Um, but because I wasn't feeling well in the week, um, this week the preacher, fortunately the senior staff at Derby Diocese have offered some sermons for the next few weeks because they know how exhausted all the priests are um, with doing all this different way of doing church um, so this week the preacher in our service is the venerable Dr Christopher Cunliffe that's a bit of a mouthful isn't it he's the Archdeacon of Derby and so he's doing the sermon in the service today so if you're a bit like who's this guy that's who it is so um, thank you to Christopher for um, offering that sermon for us this week so um, I hope you all have a good week um, I'll see some of you on zoom at 11 o'clock um, and otherwise, every blessing and we'll see you soon. Take care. <laughs>